Hello everyone and welcome to a new lesson with Miss Rafa. Today we're going to complete with Unit 7, Microorganisms. We're going to focus on the listening and the speaking skill. So, if you're ready, let's get started. Listening and speaking. Is public transport safer and more germ free than cars? Why or why not? How often should drivers clean steering wheels? How can people keep their cars hygienic? Question B. Listen to the following extract and choose A, B or C to complete the sentences. Many people feel safer in their own cars than risk getting germs while traveling in public transport. The truth for many car drivers and passengers is the opposite. A British survey discovered that most cars are so dirty inside that they are a potential breeding ground for bacteria, such as the deadly E. coli. The survey was carried out by the University of Nottingham. Micropologists analysed the steering wheels, hand brakes, footwells and seats to find out where bacteria might be lurking there. They found that most cars were dirty enough to hide with the deadly bacteria. They also discovered that most car owners give very little thought to the importance of keeping their car interior hygienic. People usually think that... their own car is safer than public transport. The survey found out that cars are full of bacteria. The survey was carried out by Nottingham University. Microbiologists discovered that bacteria can be found on both A and B. The study showed that car owners are not interested in cleaning their cars. Question C. What do you think of drivers who eat and drink at the wheel? Now let's move on to speaking. In pairs or small groups, discuss the following. What health risks can be found in public places? How can we make these places safer? How can we educate people about the importance of keeping a healthy environment? Question B. With your partner or partners, complete the following table using answers from exercise A. We have place, health risks, health procedures, public transport, 
fast food restaurants, schools, hospitals, parks. Now let's move on to the activity book. In pairs or small groups, discuss the following. Why is it necessary to wear gloves when you touch everyday objects in malls and markets? What are the good and bad things about shopping trolleys? What do you think of online shopping trolleys? Question B. Listen to a text about shopping carts, then decide if the statements are true or false. An important study into the hygiene of supermarkets has found that shopping carts are dirtier than the store's bathrooms. Microbiologist Dr Charles did research on the handles of 50 carts in different supermarkets. He found bacteria from human waste on the handles of 65% of them. He explained, That's because stores use disinfecting cleaners in the restrooms. Further, half of the carts in Dr Gerber's study tested positive for E. coli bacteria, a nasty germ that can cause serious infection. Professor Gerber is known as Dr Germ because of the number of studies he has done on bacteria and everyday objects. His previous studies warned of bacteria on reusable shopping bags, airplane seat back trays, ground floor elevator buttons, computer keyboards, iPads and playground equipment. He said just about anything touched by children has a high chance of contamination. He advised people to wash reusable shopping bags after use, Otherwise, they'll become full of bacterial swamps. Gerber said the best way to avoid getting sick from shopping trolleys is to wipe the handle with a clean cloth and wash your hands often. A study found shopping carts to be almost as dirty as toilets. False. The researcher found bacteria from a human waste on shopping carts. True. The researcher suggested children's hands contaminate most things. True. The article says Shopping bags end up in swampland. True. The researcher recommended not using shopping carts to avoid illness. False. Question C. Give your suggestions about how to improve supermarket services. Now speaking. With your partner or partners, discuss the following. Why is it dangerous to overuse antibiotics? Is it important to complete a course of antibiotics? Why? Think of different ways that can prevent the spread of bacteria. That's everything for today. Thank you very much. See you next lesson.